how to save on credits in Opus Clip. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so I'm here in Opus Clip right now. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically a AI software that allows you to create really cool short video clips with text like this. So live streams can definitely build credibility, it can make sales, it can make you money. And honestly, most importantly, it creates community. So every Thursday at 6 p.m. PST, people know to tune in that we're gonna be there live, giving value, giving entertainment, and like sharing our wisdom and what we've learned. And just earlier this week, we had our weekly episode of number 144. So I post those kinds of clips on our YouTube shorts, Instagram, and Facebook. It's a great way to repurpose your content. All right, so let me show you how to save on some of those minutes because they all count. So I'm just gonna load up a clip right here. All right, it's uploading. All right, so once it's uploaded, you'll see something like this. And you'll see here, credit usage, 46 minutes. So this video that I just uploaded is 46 minutes long. And it was a live stream that we did on our YouTube channel. To save on your credits, what you can do is scroll down here and you can see here, processing time frame credit saver. Now, because this is a live stream, I know that pretty much for the first five minutes of our live stream, it's, you know, the intro, it's the chitter chatter, welcoming everybody. And there's not really much substance going on, like nothing that I would want to make into a short clip to post on social media. So what you can do to save time is before you upload your video, if you already know a specific moment that you want to clip, like let's say you know in the second half of the video, that's where the magic was happening and you were saying some gold, then you would just go like that and you would save all these minutes here, this, this whole part here, would not get processed as your time because you can see here, this is how much credits and time you have. And it's based on how long each video is. So if you have one hour and you upload a 45 minute video, then you would technically have 15 minutes left. But if you know that you're saying good stuff here at the end, then you can bypass all that and save a good amount of minutes. So that's a quick and simple way to save on your minutes, save on your credits before you actually start processing the whole thing. Cause there's no point in me processing the first five minutes when I know that I'm not going to use any of that. So I can clip a little bit there and I know at the end, you're kind of just wrapping things up. You know, obviously I would want to look at the actual footage first to make sure that I am processing the correct time frames. So once you've done that, you've altered and adjusted the times, you just click get clips in one click, and then boom, there you go, you just saved on credits in Opus Clip. So I would definitely do this if you are noticing that you know, you're running out of minutes and hours per month. This is gonna help extend your hours and minutes in Opus. If you are interested in getting Opus Clip, I do highly recommend it. If you're already filming YouTube videos and you wanna repurpose your content, this AI tool is amazing. You guys can check the link for that down in the description. I have a bunch more tutorials on Opus, so make sure you're subscribed. Check out the link if you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.